What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and in this video I'm going to show you how to transform your Wrangler or Gladiator from this to this and still have a hard roof over your head. It's freaking awesome. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the Moore Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. Installation of the clear lids could not be easier. You just take your freedom panels off. And then you set the clear lid on. Just like it's one big freedom panel. Sits right there. It does have these foam inserts that go right here on top of the, the bar just to add some support and weatherproofing. This one on the other side. And then inside, it's just like the freedom panels. You've got that latch, you got that, you got that, you got that. You got these two latches here in the back. The only other thing you have to do to install it, you've got four of these screws that go through factory holes and they just screw in just, just snug, but not too tight. You don't want to deform the clear lids, but you want to make sure it doesn't move around at all. That's good. Go put these two in. And that's it. Um, I mean, you can see you have an incredible view there. That took me that took me five minutes, and that included moving the camera around. Um, and getting the shots that I needed for this, but that is it. I mean, as you can see, it creates a really awesome view outside the top of your Jeep. It is like being topless, but not. So you can, uh, running this in the winter time uh, is, is awesome when you normally wouldn't have your freedom panels off or your top off. You, you got the clear view of the sky and it really makes a unique, uh, unique environment in this. We have been running the clear lids for about four months now just to fully test them. Uh, you know, we had them in the, the colder environments at the end of winter. We had them all throughout the spring, now getting into summer when it's been in the, the mid nineties uh, for a couple days outside to experience just what it's like uh, with the clear lids on. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's really awesome. Are they perfect? No, uh, no, they're not perfect. I'll get into that later. So let's talk about uh, the specs of the clear lids because they are, the technology is quite impressive. They are actually made in the USA, so that is a huge plus. But they say it blocks 99.5% of UV light. So it's basically like putting sunglasses on the top of your Jeep, and you're not gonna be you know, under this and getting a sunburn or anything like that, because it does block 99.5% um, of UV light. They say that in here with the clear lids is 25 degrees cooler than outside. 
that's the one thing I'm not sure I I, I buy because it definitely I mean when the sun is directly overhead like it is now I mean it is uh, it's 1 30 in the afternoon the sun is I mean the sun is right there you can definitely feel somewhat of a greenhouse effect in here it's not bad at all um, it, it's not bad at all but it's just it's just noticeable you know just like when you're outside and the sun's behind the clouds or when the sun is directly overhead I mean you can tell a difference and you can tell a difference in here too um, but it, but it's not bad they do have a three-year warranty which I think is quite impressive um, I, I think a three-year warranty on these is is really good wind noise um, I would say it ranks in between having the hard top with the freedom panels on and having a soft top. It is definitely louder than having the freedom panels on. It is definitely quieter than if you had a soft top. Um, so it, it fits somewhere in between. We were on our way back from Arizona uh, just a couple days ago. It was very windy on I-40. We were doing 75 miles an hour. And I mean, you know, being used to traveling on a trip like that with the freedom panels on, and we have headliners that also reduce the noise. It was a noticeable difference on the interstate. So in that environment, um, it's noticeably louder, but still would have been even louder if we'd had a soft top on. So, you know, it, it's in between. Um, how tough is this stuff? I mean, you know, are you gonna risk having a rock, you know, thrown up from a truck in front of you on the interstate and impact this and crack it? The answer is no. It is made of a polycarbonate material that uh, is the same material used in fighter jet canopies. So it can take a beating. But the experience of having the clear lids on is really unlike any other experience. Uh, I, I definitely love the clear lids. If I'm not going to go completely topless, uh, I... I just think having the visibility out the top is so cool. I mean, as you can see in here, I mean, just, just driving around town like this, the wind noise is not even noticeable. It's only when you get on the interstate, when, you know, heavy winds, that's when it becomes noticeable. Well, it's not a definitive test of surviving a rainstorm, but I've been out here washing the Jeep for a while. I've cleaned the top thoroughly and there's been no water that has gotten inside here's on the inside recording from her perspective and looking for any water issues so as you can see there's no water there's even a collection of water right there so make sure i don't feel anything nothing coming over there those are sealed. It's kind of cool. So as you can see, we're in a pretty big head, heavy rainstorm. And the clearlids are working great. And no leaks at all. I love the rain with it. To be able to see it. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. It's way cool. All right, let's, uh, let's see how tough this thing really is. Wow. I mean, there's a mark on it, but no cracks or anything. That's, uh, that's crazy. Let's try this. I 
again there's marks but uh, but no cracking all right I mean that's that's impressive uh, oh and this is this is not the same clear lens that's on that's on the Jeep uh, this is an extra one that's that's an imperfect one that they sent me to try to break challenge accepted let's see what happens when we take a, a hatchet to it I mean this is I mean it's not a big axe or anything but again there's a scratch but uh, but no crack let's try try here Dang! Nothing on the inside. Wow! Let's see if I can puncture it with a sharp knife. Nope. Nothing. Nope. That's nuts. I happen to have an old drive shaft laying around. I'm gonna choke this at, at it like a javelin. Again, there's there's scratches, but uh, nothing. That's impressive. So. I mean, we've got scratches. It would be, it would be impossible. That's the, that's the first hit with the hatchet. That's the second hit. Uh, that's where the drive shaft hit. Um, that's marks that I gouged into it with the knife. Um, but it's it's not breaking at all. Not it's not cracking. I mean, it's uh, it's got a lot. I mean, look at that. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see if I can run over it with the Jeep, and if it survives that. All right. So here's what I'm here's what I'm wondering. I mean, this right here is the the most rigid part of it. If I back over this, is this part right here? going to break or is it going to survive the weight of the Jeep? I mean, they can survive my weight, but... Then you've got the pieces here that are the mounts. Those may fail. Let's see. That's crazy. I mean, I thought surely that was going to break this section here. Huh. Now what am I gonna do to break this thing? Let's uh, let's turn it over. Let's try this side. And it definitely flexed into the concrete because there's scratches on the inside, but uh... I did break one of the handles on the on the internal structures, but that uh, that's incredible. Um, dang! I mean, it's I mean, it's definitely got scratches, but there's not a crack on this thing. I mean.
Okay, I, that's impressive. I mean, they say it's borderline indestructible. And aside from folding it in half and pressing it like this, um, I don't know what else I can do to this thing. Um, I'm in town, so I don't have any obstacles to to maybe try to use this as a traction board and, and bend it. But that's pretty incredible. Um, so is it durable? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy durable. That's, I, I mean, I don't know. Well, um, I mean, there you go, uh, clear lids. They are quite amazing. It's a heck of a product and it, it really does hold up. Let me know in the comments what you think. The link to clear lids uh, website is in the description if you need to go check them out. They have them for JKs, JLs, and JTs. Of course, the JLs and JTs are this, the exact same model. So, um, if uh, if Kara lets me, I, I may borrow this and put this on on Sully from time to time because because that'd be pretty cool. Taking this through the Ozarks, seeing all the trees above. I don't know. Um, who knows? That that may happen in the future. If you would uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We got a lot of cool stuff coming. More, more how tos and gear reviews and uh, tutorials and those sort of things. Some fantastic trips that are coming up. So subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified when all that stuff uh, gets uploaded. And if you like the channel and you like what we're doing and you want to support us in a, you know, in a tangible way to help us uh, reach our dream of doing this full time on the road in three years, check out the Patreon link in the description below. Um, we do some special content, uh, special events for our patrons, and you get access to all of our GPS data. And if you're interested in Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise like this Topo Sully, uh, go check out shopoverlandapparel.com. That's where you'll find all of our merch. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.